So I, hi, <laughs> I just did an entire haul video for, I don't know, 30 minutes and none of it recorded. I don't know if I didn't hit the button or I thought I hit the button. I don't know what happened, guys. Hi, mamas. I'm Rebecca. You're watching the Reseller Mom Show, and I am a complete idiot with the haul video here for you. So I'm going to go through it again. <laughs> um, so it's probably going to be quick because I am now over it for the fact that I already did it. So I went to the Goodwill bins, the Goodwill outlet, pay by the pound. I pay $1.39 a pound. I have my reseller certificate, so I don't pay tax because normally you pay tax here in Florida for clothing, and I don't because I have that. So I'm going to go through everything, and it is what it is. <laughs> so I'm just going to show you really quickly, because I, I, as I did the haul a few minutes ago, I had pre-sorted, you know, I had sorted it as I did it, so now everything is sorted already. So I have three piles, and we'll just go through them all. So I am going to test out a little bit more kids' clothes from the bins to my local Once Upon a Child for a quick flip, see how that goes, see what they're taking, see how much they're paying, so I picked up three kids items. One is this ladybug baby costume because it was light. I want to see when they're taking them, how they're taking them, because I don't want to sell Halloween costumes anymore online. But for a quick local flip, it would be worth it, especially on a baby costume. This is just a really cute size three baby gap penguin print chambray shift dress. Again, I'm not gonna sell it online, but I will try to flip it at the consignment store or locally on Facebook. These are a size 14 um, Justice shorts, and I'm gonna try to save up some things like this and do like a lot if they don't take it at Once Upon a Child. So that's the plan with that. Next is taking things to Style Encore. Basically the goal is to buy stuff at the bins, average price is about a dollar, flip it to Style Encore, um, which is a local buy and sell store like Plato's Closet, but more women's, and try to get, usually on average, I get between three and four dollars per item. Usually it's like 350, 360, 390 in there. So that's basically tripling, quadrupling your money right off the bat. So for certain items, I'd be happy to sell them online, but I'm gonna try to sell them at the local store first. And if they sell there, great. Maybe I get up enough money to have paid for the entire haul that's the goal. Then everything I sell online is pure profit after that. So that's the goal. So these are brand new with tags, size 10, linen blend, black pants, New York and Company, wide leg. I would sell them online. I'm sure someone will want them, um, but I'm going to take them to the store first and see what happens. These are express, black wash, um, Raw hem, raw edge, distressed jeans. Again, all this I'd be happy to sell online, but I'm going to try to sell it at the consignment store first. These are Calvin Klein size floor, just khaki career pants. These are BDG from Urban Outfitters, high rise, exposed zipper, probably a cropped length. They just seem a little short, um, but they're a size 27, but they just look like like 70s kind of they're not wide leg though that's what I originally I thought they were wide leg but they're not so we'll see what happens with those these are Talbots size 14 green corduroy pants so again I'd be happy to sell it online but we'll see what happens locally first these are loft and the size tag I realized is cut out but I think that it also says the size over here which I think is 26 so we'll see, but they do have some distressing. So we'll see what happens with those. Lane Bryant chambray blazer. If they don't take this, I might see if my sister wants to sell it. She is better with um, selling blazers than I am. And I'm like checking to make sure that I'm recording because again, I just totally did the whole thing. <laughs> um, size four, the jegging from White House Black Market. And it is the newer, long spelled out way that they're doing their logo. So we'll see how those do locally. If not, we'll sell them online. Under Armour sports bra. I do well with selling Under Armour sports bras, but we'll see what happens first. That also possibly might be my size. I don't know, I have to see. Philosophy, just a blouse, just philosophy. Not anything too crazy, but it's just a really pretty flowy polka dot blouse. I'm sure someone will love that. 
Talbots, size 12, like a seersucker pinstripe, probably Capri's. And Taylor, really like this. Just like a slight bell sleeve or wide sleeve. I don't know. What do you call it? It's not exactly a bell. And another pair of express jeans, super distressy, whiskered, regular hem. These are size eight or something. So that's everything I'm going to take to the consignment store for a quick flip. See what happens. See if I pay for my haul. Let's get to the stuff I'm going to sell online. Can you see? Can you see all the furries? I love it. So it's a really pale green, super pretty vintage. The brand is Sestanza Contemporary Apparel. Um, it's nylon and then, <laughs> excuse me, 40% Angora rabbit hair and 4% lamb's wool. Love you. Oh my God. I love selling Angora. New with tags, Columbia. It's like old, I think, but it's a retail value of $40. It's just a little athletic score with the Omni shade and the UPF 30 and all of that jazz. So hopefully I'll get like 15 or $20 for that. These are maternity jeans, which I really don't want to deal with anymore, but they're skinny jeans. They look very great condition, possibly not even really worn. And they're articles of society and they're a size, what was it? 25, I think. 25. So I'm just kind of curious to see how those would do. This is a Baird McNutt linen Murano slim fit shirt with, it looks like, so it's a button, but it's a snap. So it's kind of like a pearl snap because it is a snap, but it looks like a button. These are interesting. I'm not a super vintage -y person but sometimes I pick up things because I feel like why would I leave it there at least I could learn something and try to figure it out so these are vintage Levi's and I feel like I know that they're vintage because what they have the orange tab here my nose is stuffy um and I think that's a thing so I pick them up and I will figure it out later <laughs> so they're a size 38 men's shorts so we'll see this is a really pretty, it's like, I guess it's a, like a purpley blue, like a violet um, hoodie from Norma Kamali, the full zip in the front and the tie waist and the kangaroo pocket and just, and it's like a longer, longer one. So I've already sold a couple Norma Kamali outerwear pieces and they've done well. So that is nice. So this is Solly, Allen Solly. It's a size 30 and it's like a micro houndstooth print pants and the tag told me to look it up. I looked it up, it seemed like a thing, so I bought them. Again, it's at the bin, so I'm willing to experiment. Um, I can't tell you exact comps. I will look up something like this that I really don't know and look it up and check and see and do comps for it when it's time to list. But for right now, I just know it's enough that I bought it. So, which probably means it's got to have sold for, the comps had to be in around like the $20 range. I don't want to put these on the floor. Sorry. I had pulled everything from a bag and put it on the chair. The first time I did this, just like cashmere chocolate brown sweater. I know that the lighting is not so great. I'm really sorry, guys. Size small. I love me some cashmere. So this is an Ann Taylor, just a pretty like coral, salmon, blouse, nothing special. I definitely want to have some things where, I mean, I might even do like having like a five to $10 like section and I just put it up for 10 bucks and see what happens. Cause you never know, people might bundle a few items and you just never know. Now that I'm doing more things myself and not paying people to do them, um, I can experiment a little bit more with that kind of thing. These are can can jeans. They've done well. I've sold a bunch of pairs already. Zero size 23. So we'll see, but some little cutie patootie will want these. I thought about sending them just to style encore. And then I said, no, because I can get more money for them, you know, and they will sell on Poshmark. So this is Billabong. 
just a cute little, I don't know, sundress, I guess. Um, is it linen? Now I'm just curious. Oh, son of a nutcracker. No material tag. I've really been trying hard to make sure that the tags are in there. Darn it. Anyway, Billabong. I won't get much for it, but it's cute. It's not right for style encore. Would be more for Play-Dohs, but I don't have good luck selling to Play-Dohs, so I will sell it online. Brand new with the tag. Talbot, size 14P, white denim skirt. How you made it through all the bins and the Goodwill store. In pristine shape, I don't know. Sorry, guys. My nose is just, like, super stuffy. This is Zara. Someone wants to dress like this. I'm not going to judge them. I will sell you your shirt. But I would not wear that. This is John and Jen. And I've picked up this brand before. I can't remember if it's sold or not. The tag told me to look it up, and I did, and so it seemed okay. It's just cute because it's like um, navy blue and like a forest green leopard print, probably cropped-ish um, sweater. It's super soft because it has modal, modal in it. If you've watched my videos, you know I love that stuff. I just want to wrap myself in it all the time. Actually, I do. My comforter is modal, modal, and I sleep in it every night. It's so comfy. Torrid. Hello. Well, I don't know why I forgot that. Yep, just a navy blue knit top from Torrid. That's a size two. This is a navy blue and Taylor. 100% silk blouse. So again, just some things that I can have as like a variety of price points. Someone's going to want this for summertime, right? They're going to put it over their swimsuit. They're going to wear it with like cutoff shorts. I don't know. I mean, I'm not that girl anymore, but somebody will want it. It's Ellie and Kate. I don't think that that's anything, but it's brand new with the tag. So it's cute. Someone wants that. So here's another vintage item. It's vintage Calvin Klein. Like I used to wear like the t-shirts that had this, this was the Calvin Klein logo at the time. Oh, the nineties. Um, anyway, size 38 men's shorts. So we'll see it's the same size as those Levi's. So maybe some guy that likes vintage jean shorts will buy them both. You never know. Again, sorry, I'm kind of over it. I feel like the best one was the first take. This is the second take. Thank God there's not going to be a third take. <laughs> so, it's actually better because you get like the quick and dirty version where before I was just like, yep, yep, yep. Look at this. I love peacocks. I love peacocks. This is so cute. Like someone will want this for their cruise or I don't know. Their Cancun vacation. Look at this accordion pleat. I love that. Anyway, it's brand new with the tag. It's not any, you know, it's not any kind of brand. It says it's an MSRP of $59. It's a one size step in style. Okay. I'm going to go for 15 bucks. I mean, maybe I can get more. We'll see. Medium men's Nike long sleeve pullover shirt. I just, this looked like a little bit different than most of the Nike shirts. So it's got that, you know, dry fit. What is it called? Fit dry, Nike fit dry on the back. Like where it has all the little holes. And it was navy blue and gray. And it was in really good shape. So I was like, okay, well, we'll see how that does. So I'm not sure what that will go for. This is so cute. So the size small, I think. It's Eddie Bauer. It's 100% linen. Like overalls. But they must be, um, you know, like a ankle or cropped length and kind of oversized a bit because it's a small, but just like this really cool olive green. Like someone will love this. This is so cute. So I will check comps on this just to see um, any overalls that I've bought or any short talls that I've bought have all sold. So we'll see. Okay. 
this is fine. I'm actually kind of happy to show this last word before I showed it first. So ready? One, two, three. Bing! Look at this. Oh my God. This is so cute. So I would not wear this. This is not for me. I don't wear this kind of thing. But I love shopping for the person <laughs> who does love to wear this. It's vintage. It's metallic. Look at all the colors of the rainbow. Like, so cute. It's got shoulder mic pads. Hello. And it's got the cuff with the butt. Like, oh my God. So cute. So, it is Lloyd Williams. I don't know if that's a thing. I will look it up. It's a size 12, 75% rayon, 25% metallic. Just so cute. And I really feel like perfect for New Year's, perfect for even like a holiday party with some black pants. <laughs> my nose. Because it does have the red and the green. I mean, it has other colors too, but it's so cool and fun and party and shiny and festive that like you need this in your life. Maybe even like an 80s party? I don't know. So I need to look it up. I have no idea, but I definitely want at least $20 for it because it's just so cute. And if not, I bet you it'll photograph really well and I won't mind looking at it in my closet for a little bit. Sometimes like I just like how things look in my closet because the photo comes out so good. Does anybody have that? Leave me a comment below if you don't mind if something takes like a long time to sell because you like the photo in your closet. Is that weird? Okay, that's probably stupid. So that was round two of this same haul. Again, local consignment, um, sorry, um, Goodwill Outlet haul. I pay $1.39 per pound. Don't know how many pounds. Don't know the total amount. I'm so sorry. I'm behind the eight ball with this and don't have it. But leave me a comment below if you have any questions about any of these items or what you think about the hauls so far. I've really been trying to do a better job. So subscribe to this video. There will be more hauls and all kinds of new content. I've been brainstorming lots of new stuff for you guys. So subscribe if you haven't already and like this video on the way out. Thanks so much. Have a great day. Bye.